city of Carlville, which in its golden age, there are golden bustling streets and vibrant corals. It is a peaceful city with a warm ocean smell. King Bubbles the Dolphin reigned in this city. Queen Lily, who was his wife, cooked all sorts of delicious food like seaweed pasta and coral pizza. Yet, she never cooked any fish. Time for lunch, dear! Wait a sec! It's your favorite seaweed pasta! Alright, I'm coming! Lunch ring at last! I wonder what's for lunch! As you can see, they live like nothing bad would ever happen to them. In one house, three good friends, Ethan the Whale, Oreo the Really Funny Orca, and Chico the Clownfish were having lunch too. I love living here! It's an underwater paradise! I agree! It's awesome here! <laughs> With all those jelly soldiers, I feel completely safe. How many are they? I heard the, the king has 758,000 jelly soldiers guarding the city. I didn't know there were that many. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Soldiers everywhere. They are in parks, shops, literally everywhere. I'm serious. I've seen three soldiers in a park that sells rotten corals. Rotten corals? Who would sell rotten corals? I've heard that there are some traps set for bad guys. Like when it's day, all the traps are not there and you can't see it. Then when night falls, the tiles will flip into traps. Cool, right? Wow, those villains will be so shocked when they get trapped. Anyway, since we're on the meeting, want to have Oreos for dessert? I've got lots in my bag. Yay! Oreos! I love those! Me too! You may think this is the end of the story where I say they live happily ever after, but nope! Because the bad will all appear out of the dust. In a little stone bunker, two bandits were planning evil things. Their so believed names were Pokey the Pufferfish and Octavius the Octopus. Pokey was a deadly pufferfish who could sedate other fish or just instantly kill them. Octavius was a smart brainiac who even knew how to use glasses. They were the worst villains known to the all kinds of life forms. Then one day... Hey, both of you. Go attack Corobel for some fine cash. Oh, yeah. How much? 500 million fish coins. What? Yes! When should we attack? Whenever I tell you to. Okay, this quest might be the easiest in my life. Even though I've heard that they have 758,000 million fish soldiers, I just hope that they don't have more. Yes! They have lots, but they're no match for me. No worries, boss. We will be rich, rich, rich after this. <laughs> and if you still can't capture... Hello? Ugh, he dropped the line. Let's just relax and your boss tells us to attack. No, no, no. We should start with a plan so we won't get outsmarted. Good idea! Let's start! <laughs> hmm. Let's dig underground so we can plant bombs everywhere! Sure! Here, take this robot and start- Well, I didn't know fish could hold things. <laughs> They started digging down, and after a few weeks, they had a large hole under Coralville. Take these bombs and place them around here. They each took a hundred remote-controlled bombs and scattered them all over the place. Now when it's time, take this remote 
and press the button so Coral Girl will explode. <laughs> <laughs> the evil bandits waited and waited for months with perfect planning, step by step, until the day came when they were ready. They already had an idea on how to attack Coral Girl. They relaxed the rest of the time until... Wake up, you sleepy heads! It's late, it's dark, it's the perfect time to attack Coralsville. Here we are. I can't believe this place has changed so much. I remember breaking into the kingdom easily, but I don't think your, their protection can beat our wits. Yeah, this place has become so peaceful. No one their boss told us to target Coral Girl. I think something here is fishy. Bet that wasn't official. <laughs> <laughs> now go up and follow our plan. We don't want to know what happens when we fail. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, that was literally better than mine. Yes. <laughs> Stop making jokes and hurry up. Yes, Rob. Wow. I guess Boss really loves dropping lines. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What really happens if we fail? Just consequences. Now follow our plan and get possession. As Octavius and Pokey got in position, they thought it would be an easy ambush. Since it was dark. This is too easy. No one can see us. It's too dark for them. I don't even have to make them sleep. I don't even have the spray ink. It's so dark I can barely see. But as soon as Pokey entered the palace, a trap triggered and sounded an alarm. Ah! What a terribly annoying sound! It's an intruder alarm! Quick, to the underwater safe house! As Green Lily and King Bubbles went to the safe house, Octavius and Pokey decided to do Plan B, following Bubbles and Lily, capturing them and making the plantless bombs explode. Next time, look where you're going. It was dark, okay? Obviously, and I couldn't see the wire in my way. Stop arguing, or no fish coins for any of you. Sorry. And follow the king and queen. Yes, Bob. Octavius and Pokey followed King Bubbles and Queen Lily to a sunken ship, which they called an underwater safe house. I see them going to that sunken ship. We can't go in because it's fully guarded. But it's near Coral. Do you have any ideas? No. We're just going to have to sneak in the old-fashioned way. Octavius and Pokey went in through the door and took out two jellyfish darts using the fog of Octavius and Pokey's poison. Hello, King Bubbles and Queen Lily. Before King Bubbles and Queen Lily could react, Pokey knocked them unconscious so they couldn't do anything. After Pokey and Octavius kidnapped the king and queen, a school of fish came to the scene. What's happening here? Nothing? Nothing. Nothing important? Nothing important. Uh, Should we report this to Ethan? No, don't you dare. If you do, we will capture you fishes. But they didn't listen and dashed to Ethan's house. Ha 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 ha, you're no match for us, you little, um, uh, fish. We're fish, fish you, you giant spike ball. After a long goose chase, the bandits put them in a large net and threw them far away in Coralville. No! After that, Octavius and Hopoki went to the houses of the other villagers that were defenseless and captured them in a net and brought them a distance from the village. They did not want to disturb the armed villagers or else they would attack them. And because they were armed, they trapped them in their houses so that they would die because of the explosion. Then they did step two, make the bombs explode. Okay, let's scram. 
Let's go. They rushed far, far away from Carlo, and when they were too far, they stopped and waved at Carlo. Goodbye, ugly village. See you in your dreams. Pokey pressed the button on the remote, and the entire village exploded and fell into pieces. Hundreds of fish died. <laughs> Now let's get those villagers and put them in nets. Then transfer them up to a cage and give them to boss. Alright? Okay. Ha 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 ha. Thankfully, Ethan was safe and sound. Oh wait. He was not! Because of the explosion, boulders from a nearby mountain rolled towards his house and blocked his door. And he was running out of air. So he punched the wall to make a big hole. Then he went to his friends who were outside and weren't captured. Whoa! What happened here? There was an explosion thing. Luckily, we were far from the explosion. You can see that again. <coughs> well, I wish I was there to protect you guys. But the door was jammed shut. Whoever attacked our beautiful village knew I was the strongest. Boulders came down to my house and jammed my door shut. I had to find another way to get out before I ran out of air. Listen, we need to work together to rescue the king, queen, and villagers. This village needs a lot of repairs. Look, it's in ruins. We can, we can see, see that, that dude. Then, out of nowhere, an old fish with a beard as long as a swordfish nose came to them, leaving them in shock. Hello, survivors! Who, Who are, are you? I am Leo Frick. I have seen all and heard all. You must save the king and queen. They are in grave danger. You must capture... Oh, uh, what's his name? Octavoils? And his partner, uh, Honky? Anyways, you must save them! Um, can't you tell us where they are, if you've seen and heard all? That's insanity! I have seen all and heard all the things that has happened in Coralville. Anyways, think of the best plants you can think of and choose the best one. It's best to have a lot of plants in case some don't work. Start thinking. I shall guide you in your journey if you wish. Yes, sir. Here's the plan. We see here that this little group of survivors were planning something to save their king and queen. They used their brains and brainstormed together on how they would save their king. And that's the plan. So that's the entire plan? Try and search the whole kingdom in search of everybody. <laughs> Uh, doesn't sound like a good plan. Not literally like. I don't really get the point though. Do we really have to save our king? I've got other plans. Come on, we're their only hope. We're the only survivors and it's up to us to save them. It's also a good thing I've got other plans. And what happens if we fail? I don't really know, but I'd rather not let it happen. Whoever captured the king would have probably wanted to take over the city. Well, if that's going to happen, let's get moving! <laughs> what are you laughing about? I'm laughing at the dancing dirt! <laughs> what dancing dirt? That dancing dirt behind you! Ethan looked behind but he saw no dancing dirt. Come on, Oreo! Snap out of it! There, happy. That's not what I meant. Snap out of it! How many times? A bajillion? <laughs> Everybody, let's focus. <laughs> okay, what were we talking about? <sighs> How to save everybody. Ah, I get it now. We're going to be captured by the villains and swim in lava. <laughs> Ooh, 
No! Come on! Just focus! <sighs> anyway, follow me everybody. Chico, someone needs to get this guy a doctor. Yeah, right. How about you goes you guys go and I stay here? I don't wanna go anywhere. No, you have to come with us. You'll be undefended. Okay, fine. And Ethan, Chico, and Ario set off in search of the king, queen, and the rest of the citizens of the kingdom. On their little adventure, they passed a village called Sharpie and searched for an old friend of Ethan. Um, I don't think your old friend is here. Yeah, what kind of species is your friend anyways? A shark. A shark? A shark? Yeah, what's wrong about a shark? Well, sharks are dangerous and super scary. Since Katie's my friend, let's get going and find her before it gets dark. Okay then. So Ethan, Chico, and Aryo went to find Skatey. <coughs> oh, hi Ethan. I didn't know you were going to visit Sharpie. Yeah, yeah it's nice so to meet you, Skatey. We came here to ask for help because King Bottles was kidnapped. Okay, maybe now is the time to attack Skatey and maybe if we don't, she might eat all of us. Maybe we should not. I think that she seems nice. <sighs> You're right, I guess. Ethan, you did not tell me you had new friends. Oh yeah, these are my friends. Oreo, Chico, and Leofric. Hi! Hi! Hi. It's nice to meet you. Anyways, I'd love to join you in your adventure. Even though I've got a lot of things to do. What was that? Oh, nothing. Well, that's nice to hear from you. Now let's go before it's too late. When Ethan and the gang arrived at some random cave, Skatey started sensing trail. Skatey, any good news? Do you see any tracks for us to follow? Do you have any ideas where the king or queen are? Or at least anyone? Oh, I'm not tracking them. I'm trying to track down Octavius. I think we've almost got them since the trail leads here. And wait, the tracks, they disappeared. What happened? No, Ugh. what do we do now? Um, maybe we could just keep looking. Like, you go over there and I'll check that area over there. What about we eat lunch first? I'm hungry. Everybody agreed to eat. And after their lunch, with Oreos as dessert, the friends went back to looking for trails to track Octavius. Suddenly, Guys! Come! What? I found Octavius! It's him! And I think I see Pokey! Hey! You can't catch me! <gasps> it's not fair! Don't tie me up! Can I have that? Hey! Wait, wait, wait! Can I have one of those? Close your eyes and don't open your eyes, please. Guys, let's bring Octavius to the underwater prison in Death Valley. And don't give him any candy or dessert if he wants some, okay? Sure. <laughs> they won't catch me. Let's go as soon as we can. When Ethan and his friends arrived at Death Valley prison, they fixed the prison cell with some help from Cezzy, the prison guard. Then they put Octavius inside. Even though it was very difficult and exhausting, they still managed to do it. Let me out this instant! Hmm, why would I do that? Now, we need answers. Where is the king and queen? And why would I tell you where they are? We? are trying to save them. Well, as long as you... Let me out of here! Never! Actually, I would like you to stay locked here, you villain! Before Octavius could say anything else, Silly cut the argument. Now, both of you, I'll take things here from now on. And remember, the king and queen are still missing. We're all counting on you and your friends. You can always count on us. 
I would never let the kingdom down. We all would. Okay, we should get going. Bye, Sealy. Be careful. You too. See you all soon. All of Coral Bill is counting on you guys. As Ethan, Chico, and Oreo left the prison for the search of the king and queen, Siri stayed on guard for Octavius. Unexpectedly, Pokey heard about everything that happened. I could go in any night, poison that guard, then save Octavius. Yeah, this should be as easy as pie. And so night came, and the plan was in progress. He swam within the cellars, and then he saw Siri still guarding Octavius, and so he then poisoned her. Aha! What are you evil seahorse? Aha! After that terrible sight, Sealy dropped down to the floor, unconscious. With the guard unconscious, Pokey grabbed the keys to Octavius' cell and opened it, which left Octavius in shock. Come on, good guy. Let's get you out of here. How did she get here? Shh! Now you have to be quiet. As Octavius was escaping prison with Pokey, he accidentally let out ink which left clues for the good guys. Then Octavius and Pokey sneaked out. Thanks for breaking me out, Pokey. I'm glad to be out here. No problem. Let's start getting out of here before we get spotted. Yes, let's go quick. Oh no! Octavius, you inked! Yep. That's super bad and we are doomed. But, let's just ignore it. Ethan and his friends went inside Death Valley Prison to check on Octavius. While they were there, Octavius thought something was very weird, and Skatey saw that Octavius wasn't there anymore. Is that... <gasps> Silly? Why is she on the floor? Mm, looks like she fainted because of something. What are we gonna do? Well, I guess we could try reviving her. Okay, but how? I'll just try, okay? In the meantime, let's search around for clues. Huh, it's such a puffer fish poison. Perhaps the clubfish must have poisoned Sealy. So, what do we do now? No, wait! I found something. It feels squishy. I think I know what it is. Octopus ink! Octopus, Octopus ink? ink? A tree of it! This must be a clue! I think that maybe if we follow it, we can track down Octavius and save the king! What happened? Silly! Ethan? Chico? What happened? Well, why are you here? Well, I think you've been poisoned and fainted. But then, what happened to Octavius? He escaped. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Don't panic. I found a trail of octopus ink, and maybe if we followed it, it would lead us to Octavius. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! The ink trail led to the cave where the villagers and the king and queen were trapped in a cage. But then they saw Pokey and Octavius. Before the villains could react, Chico tied them up. Can I have one of Octavius, please? Then Ethan and his friends hurried to the cage where the villagers were, but they got scared when they saw it because it was in a lava pit with a blanket of smoke over it. There was a key, but it was already in the lava pit. When the team tried to destroy the cage, they made a racket. Someone heard the noise and saw what was happening. Well, well, well. Look here, our very brave Ethan and friends. Wait, who are you? I am the mastermind. I am the one that instructed Pokey and Octavius to destroy Coraldville. <gasps> what? Well, stay away from my friends and let everybody go. Ha, do you think I would do that? Prepare to be destroyed! Sitting on a robotic chair, Macintosh pressed a bright red button on his leg as it turned into a giant starfish. He tried to attack them, but Skatey shielded them using her shield. 
Then the starfish robot fired a bomb ah! Except Ethan almost got sucked into the lava pit. While the rest of the team were struggling, Ethan and Macintosh fought. The sound of clanging, slashing, and whooshing erupted across the gigantic cave as they fought. Then, Ethan was hit! Oh, I'm strong! As he fell, he saw a mysterious lever. There was a note in front of it. It said CAGE in bold letters. Then he called out to Chico, who succeeded to get out of the lava pit. Chico! Pull the lever that says CAGE! Immediately, she dashed to the lever. But there were so many levers saying CAGE. Chico felt dizzy. Ha 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 You can't defeat me! Ethan was already struck and he couldn't move. Plus, the rest of the team was still in the lava pit. With the robot holding a spear, Macintosh said, Time to be destroyed! But then, Skatey got out of the pit in the time, and using all her strength, she snatched the spear from the robot. Give that back! No! And using her cleverness, she threw his spear to one of the levers that read cage in bold letters. Then the cage opened. King Bubbles helped the team get out of the pit. After that, the team made up their minds to fight. Ha! Do you think that the villagers, the king and queen can defeat me? The king and the queen and the team knew how to fight, but the villagers didn't. And Skatey was nowhere to be seen. Poor Skatey! Meanwhile, Skatey was in Sharpie. While there, she called an army of about 500 sharks. When she came back, she surprised Macintosh that he let go of the control. What? Before he could finish his sentence, everybody, using all their strength, pushed Macintosh into the pit. <coughs> everybody rejoiced because the unexpected mastermind was defeated. They praised Ethan and the amazing team for their bravery. After months of rebuilding Carl, Ethan! The kingdom and the villagers praise you and your friends for your bravery. We never forgot about that time when you saved us. So I ask you, do you want to be in the third place of power in the kingdom? The crowd trembled. What would he say? With all due respect, I would reject the offer. What? Why? I just want to save the people in the kingdom and the villagers. It's for you and everybody. I would not let you down. Oh, thank you. The king and queen were in tears. Well, this is an order. I shall want you and your friends to live in this palace. I'll gladly accept that. So, so would we. we.